Good. Next one. Negative five. X plus three. Go. If you were to come to my classroom on a typical day, you would see students come in. They would take a warm up. After the warm up, they would go to their individualized places around the room, and students would work on one of three things. Um, some students would work on Khan Academy on their own at a laptop. Some students would go to workstations, which are where students are gathered around a TV and they are working together to solve Khan Academy problems. The rest of the students are going to be up front with me uh, working on a problem of the day and just working on problem solving skills. You gotta find angle shift. Yeah, AC. So it's gonna be it's A squared plus A squared equals six. First, you should get all your kids signed up in your class. Uh, you can do this by using Gmails or Facebook. You should set lists um, of objectives that students should finish on Khan Academy. I personally call these playlists. You want to um, set individual goals for each student based on diagnostics. So this can be based on a state test or other diagnostics you give. But you want to give kids specific goals that they should be working on when they go on the program. Leaderboard on Khan. Currently, Mr. Gosling is still winning with 303. He's whooping y'all. Faith, you have 246. Bernice is slight. You want to create an investment plan so students are engaged, so you can work with small groups while students are on Khan Academy. Uh, I do this in many different ways. The first way I do this is making it a huge part of their grade. Um, this trimester, it's going to count as 40% of their grade. Um, so getting work done on Khan is very important. The other way I do it is I make posters that rank students of how much they've got done on Khan. Um, and I post those up in the hallway. I also personally compete on Khan Academy against students. Um, and students are really invested in trying to beat me. Um, and other teachers around the school also compete on Khan. One part where I really analyze the data is an objective I'm teaching that day. If students have already mastered that objective on Khan Academy and I know it aligns to what I'm teaching, um, I often let students opt out of the lesson um, and they can stay on Khan Academy during my class. Everyone else, you have fast map, compass, con, get to or go. You should designate a time during your class, whether it be 15 or 20 minutes, where students can work on Khan Academy in class. Once you've rolled the program out, is to make sure every night you're analyzing the data. Um, so when you come into school the next day, you can have conferences with students and make sure their time on Khan is very valuable. All of you guys threw down in a very quick lesson. Respect. Awesome. If you didn't get it, we will go over it tomorrow in the exit uh, in the warm-up. Uh, like Tanasia, Kimani, Deasia will just check in with you guys on Tuesday.